Hey everyone, uh, my name is Charlotte and I'm the kids leader at the church at Swan Mead. Now I'm here today just to give you a very short message. Now at the end of this week or maybe the beginning part of next week, you children are going to be going back to school. And obviously some of you, as like my son Marcus, has had 24 weeks off school and you might start to be feeling a bit scared or a bit fearful of the unknown. Because you know what, when you go back to school, it is going to be different. Now in my son's school, they're going to be in bubbles and I'm sure it's the same for all the other schools. Now children, I want to encourage you today, don't go into school being full of fear. Because you know what, God can be with you. Now I'm going to show you just a little bit of an example. I've got two bottles here, okay? And one of them represents someone full of fear. And the other one represents someone full of the Holy Spirit, knowing that God is with them. And my glove is going to represent fear. Now, it's not a bad thing to be fearful, because you know what, it's human and it's natural. But fear can sometimes do something to us and it can really affect us going into school, for example. Now, like I say, these two bottles, one represents someone full of the Holy Spirit and the other one represents someone full of fear. Now, this bottle is the bottle full of the Holy Spirit. And when fear comes along, as you can see, fear on my glove, fear comes along, it can't affect the bottle because the Holy Spirit is helping them to stay strong. The Holy Spirit is helping them to know that God is with them all the time and they've got nothing to be scared of. But you see, this bottle doesn't quite understand that. And as the fear comes along, it starts to crush it. And the bottle starts to get crushed beneath the fear. The fear starts to damage that person because they haven't depended on God. They haven't relied on God that God will help them in the situation. Remember the scripture in 2 Timothy for it says, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, of love and of self-discipline. So as you're going into your schools and you're going into the new experience, you're going into perhaps a new layout, a new classroom, don't be full of fear. Remember that God has given you that spirit of power. So when the fear comes along, you might be crushed like that bottle, but you can say strong like this bottle. Because God has given you the spirit of power and of love and of self-discipline. So when you start doubting and when you start getting fearful, remember that scripture and you can remember, no, God has given me the spirit of power. I can do this. God has given me the spirit of love. I can help those around me that may be feeling fearful. And God has given me the spirit of self-discipline where I can discipline myself to know that God is with me and I can do this. Now, I'm just going to pray for you all as you go back to school. And you know what? It's not just for the children. It could be for the adults going back into a workplace. It could be the senior children, the older teenagers going back into um, college or going to senior school. I'm just going to pray for you all. Father God, I just want to thank you that you haven't given us a spirit of fear, but you have given us a spirit of power and of love and of self-discipline. And I pray for each and every child and each and every teenager, adult or whomever it is going into a new situation after being locked down for the coronavirus. I pray you'll be with them. I pray that you will give them the strength to believe that you're with them. I pray you'll give them the belief to know that you're with them and they won't feel crushed like that bottle, but they'll know that you are with them and you can be their strength. So God, I pray for each and every one of them. I pray that they have a blessed time as they start their new school year, their new college year, their new work year. And Father, God, thank you that we know that you can be with us. Amen. So kids, go back to school, adults go back to work, teenagers go back to secondary school and college and just know that your God is with you. He will keep you strong and there's nothing to be fearful for because our God is fantastic. Have a good week, kids.